In today's video, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the top five best loadouts to use here in Black Ops 6. If you do find this video to help you out in any way, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel with notice on, and let's get into it. If you need help unlocking anything here in Black Ops 6, make sure to check out U4GM. They can help you with any challenge in the game, from camo challenges to any hard challenge in the game. They also provide very cheap codes to redeem, like XP codes and rare skins. Go use my code PARA for 5% off. Now, jumping into my first weapon, guys, we have the XM4. Now, the XM4, in my opinion, is definitely a top three weapon here in the game as of right now. And this is what also people are using the most as of right now, of course, with people getting into the game and slowly leveling up. But the XM4 is a nasty weapon. Up close, super disgusting, medium to long range. It's really good. But with this build, we're going to make it better in those medium to longer range gunfights, but able to delete people up close. But for my optic, I'm okay with the iron sights, but I do prefer an optic on the XM4. I'm going to add on the kepler reflex now i have this just because i've been leveling up more weapons here add on what you have unlocked or add on your favorite optic for me right now my favorite optic and of course the best optic in the game in my opinion is the kepler micro reflex so we're going to throw this on for my first attachment again add on what you guys have or you prefer now for the muzzle we are going to be adding on the compensator now the compensator is the best muzzle in the game for every single weapon that you need vertical recoil control with but also vertical recoil control we're also getting gun kick control here 31 percent increase in our gun kick control and a 35 percent increase in our vertical recoil control so with this weapon having a fast fire rate the gun kick and the vertical recoil isn't going to be bad anymore so we're going to throw this on for our second attachment to calm the weapon down a little bit more now for the barrel here, we're going to be adding on the long barrel. We want to increase that damage range on this weapon to make it better in those medium to longer range gunfights. The good thing about this is not taking away any aim down sight speed, sprint the fire speed, mobility, or anything like that. We're making this weapon better up close, medium range, further range. So it's going to have a nasty time to kill and it's going to be able to travel a bit further in those gunfights. Now, we are going to skip the underbarrel. We do not need any underbarrel on this weapon since we have the compensator on. We don't need a magazine, and we're going to the rear grip. And we're going to be adding on the commando grip. This can help with aim down sight speed and sprint the fire speed. This game needs a sprint the fire speed buff on every single weapon in the game. So as of right now, for our rear grips, we want to run something that has sprint the fire speed on it so we can shoot faster off a sprint and aim down sights a bit faster with the commando grip. I will bring up the stats on this. A 21% increase in our sprint the fire speed time and a 15% increase in our aim down sight speed. So that's going to help us a bit better in those gunfights being a little bit more aggressive. And then getting into my final attachment, we are going to the stock, and we're going to be adding on the light stock for that movement speed, strafing movement speed, and hip fire movement speed. Now, the only thing that you need to know with this attachment, we are getting a 22% increase in our movement speed. So we're moving a bit faster around the map, getting into more engagements, and getting higher kill games. I'm telling you, this build is super disgusting. Now for our next weapon, guys, we have the C9, which is the MP5, and all you need to know is this is the number one smg in the game here now with my build though we're not going to be running an optic here so we are going to keep the iron sights on and we're going to the muzzle for my first attachment and you can either add on the suppressor so we're staying stealthy being quiet to go on those higher kill streaks gun streaks increase your kd get all of your kill streaks and get a nuke here but honestly i feel like the compensator is going to be the better option a bunch of vertical recoil control a bunch of gun kick control here with this weapon having a fast fire rate we want to have really good control of this weapon be accurate in our gunfights, and i think this is going to be a better option so we're going to throw on the compensator for our first attachment here now, jumping over here to the barrel, we're going to add on the reinforced barrel. Now, this can give us bull velocity and damage range. Now, the MP5, we all know this weapon is very disgusting. Up close, we need to work on some medium range and damage range here for those longer range gunfights. So, we're going to add on the reinforced barrel, better bull velocity so our bullets are traveling faster, and that damage range to help our bullet travel further, hit harder to give us a faster time to kill in those longer range gunfights to go against those LMGs, marksman rifles, and other good assault rifles. So, we're going to add this on for a second second attachment. Now we're going to skip the underbarrel and go to the magazine next. I'm going to be adding on the flip mag. Now the time to kill on the MP5 is really good, so we don't really need to run a larger mag. And with the MP5 having a fast reload time already, we're going to increase that a bit more. So we're going to be reloading really fast. So if we have to reload in the middle of those gunfights or after a kill, it's going to be super instant. So we never have to reload all the time. In the middle of those gunfights, it be slow and we get shot and die. We do not want that to happen here. So we're going to add on the flip mag for our faster reload speed. 
Now for the rear grip, we're going to add on the assault grip. Now we want to run this on because it can give us a 32% increase in our sprint to fire speed time. As you guys see here in the handling, I've said this a bunch of times already. I don't want to sound like a broken record. The sprint to fire speed in this game is really bad. So we do want to increase our sprint to fire speed time to help us be a little bit more aggressive to make sure to add on the assault grip. And then for my final attachment, we are going to the stock. And you're going to run the no stock here. So we're getting a huge buff in our movement speed here by 16% for moving really fast around the map, being a aggressive getting into more engagement and getting high kill games now for weapon number three guys we have the ak-74 ak-47 it's the same thing but all you need to know is this is the strongest weapon in the game in my opinion here this build is a stealthy build and i think this is going to help you get your first nuke if you're still trying to hunt one for that calling card but for my muzzle we are going to be adding on the suppressor we're off the radar we're staying stealthy we're being quiet to go on those higher kill streaks get all of our kill streaks and get our nuke so throw on the suppressor here so you're off the radar and you're stealthy now for the barrel we're going to be running the long barrel we want to increase our time to kill on the hardest hitting assault rifle here in black ops 6 so we're going to increase our time to kill make it even faster our bullets are traveling further they're hitting harder so we want our gunfights at longer ranges to be easier but up close have a faster time to kill so add on the long barrel now we're going to jump over here to the magazine next and we're going to be adding on the first fast mag. Now the AK-74 doesn't have the best reload time so I want to increase it just a tiny bit more just in case we have to reload in those gunfights or in an important time here. We can reload fast, get back into those gunfights and go crazy. So I think the fast mag is going to be a very important attachment for this build here. Now for the rear grip, I do want to increase our sprint to fire speed a lot with the AK-74 not having the best handling, so we're going to add on the assault grip. Now the good thing about this attachment here, we're getting a 40% increase in our sprint to fire speed time, so if there's any other fast SMGs in the game, assault rifles, we're going to be able to match up with those really good, and we're going to be able to beat them with our sprint to fire speed being higher, so we're going to add on the assault grip. And then for my final attachment, we are going to the stock, and we're going to make sure to add on the light stock. Now the only thing that I'm worried about is the movement speed on this weapon here we are getting some strafe movement speed and everything here but the main thing is the 20 percent increase in our movement speed so we're moving really fast with the strongest hitting assault rifle in the game now for weapon number four guys we have the amis 85 the krig 6 now the krig 6 this year definitely has a faster fire rate than than it was in cold war but this is a very fun gun to use and this actually might be one of my favorite assault rifles just to have fun with high kill games and everything this is one of my favorite weapons in the game but for my build i'm not really a huge fan of the iron sights on this weapon so i'm gonna go ahead and throw on the kepler micro flex now like i said if you want to run whatever optic that you have whatever is your favorite optic go ahead and throw it on for me though i'm adding on my favorite and also which i think is the best which is the kepler micro flex now for the muzzle here, we do want to run the compensator. Again, it being the best muzzle in the game, this might be on a lot of my builds this year unless they add new attachments in the game. But all you need to know, this is the best compensator in the game. We're getting vertical recoil control, gun kick control. This does have a fast fire rate, so we're going to go ahead and calm that gun kick and that vertical recoil. Now for the barrel here, I do want to go ahead and throw on the long barrel. I want this weapon to be better in those longer range gunfights. It's an assault rifle, so it's already good at those longer ranges, but I want to make it better just in case we're going against marksman rifles, snipers, LMGs, or other good assault rifles. So we're going to add on the long barrel for that better damage range and a faster time to kill. Now, we are going to the rear grip next, and we're going to go ahead and throw on the commando grip. This can give us aim down sight speed and sprint the fire speed. Now, I'm not really a huge fan of the handling on this weapon, so I am going to throw on the commando grip. So, we are going to increase our aim down sight speed and sprint the fire speed. This weapon does have a nice time to kill up close, so if you want to have that aggressive play style, be aggressive, be in people's faces. This attachment needs to be on your class setup if you're trying to get high kill games with the Amis 85 here. So, do go ahead and throw that on. And then for my final attachment, we are going to the stock and again go ahead and throw on the light stock now this is going to be on a lot of my builds just because we are getting a crazy amount of movement speed here unless you know new attachment does come out here but we are getting a lot of movement speed so we're moving fast around the map being aggressive having a crazy amount of engagements for those high kill games and then jumping into my final weapon in today's video guys we have the ksv now the ksv is a good smg a lot of people are just using it wrong and a lot of people like they like to say this is a terrible smg but for my build here we are going to start with the muzzle and once again we're going to be using the compensator i'm going to sound like a broken record but this is the best muzzle in the game we're going to add this on here we're going to go ahead and calm that vertical recoil down calm that gun kick down make this weapon more smooth and more accurate when firing so we are going to be more accurate in our gunfights 
Now for the barrel, very, very important that you're running the long barrel. Now the weapon doesn't have the best damage or it doesn't really have a good time to kill unless you're up close. Now if you're in those medium range, the longer range gunfights, you know this weapon isn't the best. So we're going to go through ahead and go ahead and throw on the long barrel. We're going to make the time to kill good up close, make it really good at medium range, and it's going to be okay at those longer range gunfights. But I'm going to have to say this right now, use this weapon up close and medium range. Don't try to get long shots like super long range, like 60 plus meters meters you don't need to do that but the long barrel is going to make this weapon super good so this is going to be a very important attachment now for the underbarrel, we are going to be adding on the vertical foregrip. This can help with horizontal recoil control. So this is going to be a good combo with the compensator. So our weapon is not going to be moving at all. You're going to have full control of this weapon and everything. So we do want that to happen. So we're going to add on the vertical foregrip. Now for the magazine, we're going to be adding on the first extended mag so we can increase our mag size to 40. This weapon with the long barrel and if you're up close, this weapon does have a great time to kill. So we're going to add this on so we don't have to reload all the time. And then for my final attachment, we are going to go into the rear grip and we're going to be adding on the assault grip once again for that extra sprint to fire speed time. This does have some good handling, but I want to make it a bit better so we can be more aggressive here. But those are the top five best loadouts in my opinion here in Black Ops 6. Go ahead and try them out and let me know in the comments what are some other weapons that i need to show you a build for but guys thanks so much for watching you guys stay safe and i'll see you on the next one